Alright, what's going on YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on FIFA 20. This is Mateo Morales Career Mode, episode 22. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. It's great to have him back here. And now, we're going to start that quest for season 2 as we're going to go back onto the pitch here today as we're going to be starting off in the MLS. And we're going to see what Morales can do here in season number 2 here with the uh, FC Cincinnati. Of course, last year won the uh, championship and, of course, won the uh, U.S. Open Cup uh, and, of course, also brought home the uh, golden boot for our young man who, of course, broke uh, not just a rookie season record of most goals in a season, but also the most goals in MLS history. So, he's uh, been writing uh, a lot there. I had to look do a little a lot of uh, research on that <laughs> um, and so it was which was fun to do uh, but now he is trying to see what he can do now here in this second season of course now there's been some buzz some, been some rumors about him possibly leaving uh, FC, uh, FC Cincinnati of course he says he's already said he's gonna put those to rest that is not gonna happen he's gonna stay here as long as the team needs him and of course, obviously, as long as the budget can afford him. Um, but as you see, we're taking on uh, uh, Toronto there. And of course, Alejandro there, one of the decent, one of the great, actually really good uh, uh, cams out there in the MLS. So we have to deal with him and try to see how we can uh, try to make sure he doesn't do too much attacking on us uh, as he is very good setting up uh, his teammates there on that uh that back third of the um pitch there uh to score goals so uh we'll see what we can do here in the great white north as we are in toronto for the opening uh day here of premier league or excuse me of uh, mls action i've been playing too much Premier league as of late that's why <laughs> I, I do apologize uh but yeah we'll see uh what we can do here in this one and uh see if we can try to uh, get our first uh, three points of the season as uh, I mentioned in the last episode and I'll probably mention it again here uh, but we're going to be playing as the uh, as the team as a tire now okay now anytime we have a big game coming up like against uh, you know some bigger uh, teams uh, like your Atlanta's your uh, Seattle's your uh, I think even me I'll, I'll even handcuff myself I guess too um, uh, as you see a penalty there, that's not what we want there from uh, from, uh, from Watson, our big guy, and that back line there. Um, as Kendall's going to get the yellow card there. Um, but, you know, also, uh, you know, um, Columbus, uh, some of those teams are probably teams that we're probably going to, um, you know, play in that, uh, you know, that mode that we uh, you're kind of uh, used to on this series here where it's just the single player, just focusing on Morales and his abilities and his um, time on the pitch there, uh, because I, and I, because I, I don't know. For me, I see to me it seems like it's too easy to play, um, and I've, yeah, especially from last season, I was playing too well, and of course that's a combination of the of that particular, you know, I guess uh, how the little sliders were, uh, which were supposed to be challenging, but. Uh, we were just scoring way too often, way too quick, and that's why I want to do a lot of simming and a lot of um, uh, what do you call uh, just playing as a as a team because I don't want to always see Morales be the one to score goals. So, uh, so we'll see probably see more games like this, and of course, like I said, we'll do some quick sims. Uh, as you see, he gets his first goal of the season there. Congrats there to Morales as he continues on for where he left off last season. Of course, in the in the uh, MLS, and of course, just what we just seen in the last episode, as he had a nice uh, four-goal game, and uh, to wrap up that tournament, and of course, win that preseason tournament against uh, New York. But there you see, oh, nice, beautiful shot there, going the left hand, left hand back corner there, getting that goal and uh, getting the first uh, point, getting the first uh, goal of the season here for FC Cincinnati, and hoping that uh, they can, of course, get a victory here against uh, Toronto. Well, Toronto's one of those top, I would say probably the top two or top three, top four teams there in the East that uh, can really, uh, if, if, if done right, they can be pretty dominant 
And see a Croy, a Crow, almost a bi good bicycle kick there. But unfortunately, just could not get that one to aim right where we needed there from a mod. Um, uh, but there you see, I'll try to get another cross there. Could not get that one. But like I said, I think it's going to be more challenging. Uh, I did bump up the sliders. Uh, we are playing in world class also too, so that should help out uh, some more here. Uh, I'm trying to make it more, especially on the slide on the on the end of the of the computer. Trying to make it more play more tougher on me uh, and not give in so much because uh, I've noticed too that uh, once I'm up a couple of goals, um, it'll start just kind of rolling over and just <laughs> let me do whatever I want. Uh, but also too, the other thing is too. Um, one of the big things I wish I just I realized uh, when I was playing this game as uh, you see we get another nice goal there for FC Cincinnati and uh, that's the second goal there for Morales of course so number two now here already today uh, could he be getting a hat trick here we'll have to find out and see but the other goal is the other thing is too this I'm the, I can't have I don't have any control of calling subs so if I really like especially like for Morales you know he's our guy that we're supposed to be focusing on if he, if I wear him out too much and I use up all his stamina, uh, they're gonna take him out of the game. And of course, uh, we'll have to. Of course, if we're in this mode here, he'll have to, you know, leave the game. And uh, you know, and of course, I have to control the rest of the team. Uh, and likewise, on the other side, where um, you know, if we, you know, obviously, if we play in the other mode and I use up all his stamina and he's out of the game early, uh, if he scores too many goals or he's just wear it out. Uh, then we'll just automatically just sim it, regardless of what you know where we're at in scoring. So uh, I think that'd be a cool way, just to kind of just spice things up, make it, see some outcomes. That, uh, obviously, that we don't, you know, we're trying to try to take less out of. Because um, honestly, I wish I could just sit here and just watch this be simmed, uh, just by just by as, as a spectator. But if anybody out there in EA is watching this series, which I don't know, I doubt they would be. But if you are. Let there be some kind of spectator mode <laughs> in this game. And if there is, if you guys out there who have you know more about this FIFA series than I do and its franchise, if there is some kind of spectator mode, let me know uh, because I would love to see that. Because I would love to see you know see if, how Morales is built and how we've um, kind of him, got him designed and got him uh, you know trained and all that kind of stuff. I want to see what he's like when I'm not controlling him. Uh, you know what what's he like as a player uh, and what he can do uh, and I think that'd be really cool to see and, and it'd make it even more you know more intriguing into the you know uh, to the series not to mention we can speed up uh, some of this so but like I said we are gonna be simming some games we're not gonna be playing every single game uh, we may play the first month maybe month uh, a month or two of this and then uh, we'll just start uh, every game will at least have one sim. Uh, and you know, two play games in one sim, and then kind of vice versa uh, from episode to episode. So Morales gets another goal, and there you see him once saying, "Yeah, just feed me." As he gets his third goal here in today's game, that is a hat trick there. As the fans here in Toronto not buying this whatsoever. So nice uh, job there, as uh, Morales showing off what he can do. And like I said, uh, you know, at some point here. Uh, we eventually are going to move him to uh, the newest uh, FIFA game. And, uh, you know, we may have to, uh, if he gets, obviously he'll get too big here. Uh, we'll have to make some decisions on where he's going to go here. And, I, you know, of course, we've said this already. We're going to let, uh, once we do that, uh, once we get into this transfer window coming up, uh, then we'll um, see where we can go um, for this transfer. So, We'll see uh, how he's going to be playing out. Uh, maybe we won't finish the full season. Maybe we'll. Uh, I, I, I was kind of thinking that. I was kind of thinking maybe the second season or this season here we'll play it and, and see where he goes to. Uh, I and mean, there's some decent teams out there that I feel like, hey, you know, that'd be a good fit for him or that'd be a good spot to, to go and hang out and uh, start a season there. And then we could play the first half uh, of that uh, career. Uh, here in this, uh, in this, still in this game, and then of course recreate them in the newer FIFA game uh, there in FIFA 22. So, well, like I said, we got a lot of different options that we can mess around with. As that goal is not going to be called, as they say he's offside. There, now let's take a look here, see where he's at. And 
Oh, just a smudge off sides there. Tough. As Morales could have had his, <coughs> excuse me, could have had his fourth goal there in this one. Still 3-0 here. It's uh, Toronto here having a tough time here trying to stay, keep up with this offense. This offense has just been doing a great job here, running amok uh, up in this box here. As we'll see a great kick there in the back of the end zone there. That's from Powell as he puts a nice pow into that ball. Puts in the back of the net, and that's going to be a fourth goal now here for FC Cincinnati as they leave this lead this one here for Neil. And it's getting very close to that final whistle here. That's, uh, if, of course, if you're in the lead here, you'd love to hear it. As that's going to give us three, indicating that we get some points on our uh, ledger. And we can walk out of here with three points. So let's take a look here. And C, uh, as that's Powell, of course, his first goal here this season. Now, I don't know the team players that well because well, there has been some changes to the team. Uh, and maybe some video I'll have to go. Maybe uh, some point here I might have to take a look here and see who the players are. Uh, the, well, I don't think I can look at their transfer window there. So now that I think about it here since I am playing as a career. So, unfortunately, yeah, I can't do that. But, nonetheless, there are three goals there for Mattel Morales, of course, again, another perfect uh, score there from his uh, player score there as uh, he gets a 10.0 there in that, this one. They win this 4-0. Morales, three goals in the game, no assists. As uh, he gets a, his first hat trick of the season here in MLS play. There you see his performance chart here from this game. And... Uh, Feedback from the manager, of course, is always good. You see those four, uh, four green thumbs up there, letting us know that we did a great job there. And of course, so hopefully we can keep on and do the continue doing the same thing here, match after match. Uh, but yeah, uh, this was a good game. A lot of, I had a lot of fun with this one, I, and I and I did for the most part. This was actually pretty fun playing it this way because it made it more challenging. Uh, it wasn't I wasn't always calling for the ball. Um, because I, I got really annoyed with that. Um, and I and not, not to mention, I don't have to always say, it, you know, Morales is not, in this case, Morales did score. Uh, but he didn't score all the goals. He's, you know, he only he scored the first three. Uh, and, and, of course, we don't have to worry about doing that um, all the time. I wish there was a way where I could kind of sub him, you know, take him out of it. Uh, if I decided to, like, okay, we'll, we'll just have, you know, him set out. But, of course, we can't do that because he is the main player. So, the only way he would actually... Be able not to be playing if he was injured so we're not gonna go down that route <laughs> um so but like i said we're, we'll play try to play as hard as we can um in this series and maybe try to get him more out more so towards the end of it uh of, you know end of every match that, he's, that we're in so uh but coming up next is of course it's uh orlando city i believe uh and of course orlando city uh coming into this game they are one oh and oh after the first match against uh, Chicago Fire, uh, and they won that game 2 nil. So they are trying to go come out here just like us and pick up another victory here as we're at home. We're home for this game. This is our first home game of the season. We're at Nipper Field, or should, should, should say it's Nipper Stadium. Of course, home of the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Uh, of course, in real life, uh, Cincinnati actually got their, uh, their actual stadium just completed there. So. Uh, and that's one thing I hope in the game they'll have. Um, of course, I, I, I don't know what the deal is. EA, come on. You guys can put the stadiums in there. But, it, of course, it is a legal issue. So, uh, But it would be nice to act actually have the actual stadiums <laughs> of uh, these uh, clubs here in, uh, in, all the, in all the clubs. You know, they can. Uh, but, yeah, it, I know it's a um, legal issue, uh, you know. Uh, you know, you know, rights issue and all that kind of stuff. So, hopefully, in the near future, maybe they can get away from that. I know at least there's been rumors saying EA is going to try to get away from FIFA, and FIFA is thinking about going to somewhere another developer. So maybe in the future, uh, maybe we'll just have a self, you know, own uh, like a MLS only property of a video game in the near future. Maybe I don't know, um, but yeah, uh, for the most part here. Um, we'll see a goal being cold. Oh, ouch. Man, our defense just really got just taken for a ride on that one. What a play there. As Orlando gets on the board here. 
And they, of course, know it's important for them to score here first and try to score as quickly as they can against this championship team. Now, of course, we did lose a couple people uh, during the champ during on that uh, last run there, but for the most part, the uh, same team still intact. And of course, the guy that helped them get there is Mateo Morales, and of course, they will keep a close uh, arm's length of him to make sure he does not uh, go too crazy on that uh, on the pitch here tonight. And, uh, we'll see if that'll be the case here. As uh, see, Orlando again, uh, Orlando City making another attack here, looking to so go for a cross kick here. We try to bounce this one away here. Got to get rid of the football there. Nice job there, as uh, Tipton makes a nice uh, save. As we'll see another now we'll see a corner kick there for uh, Orlando City as they've been a, really truly. Uh, you guys didn't see. You can't. I, of course, I edited some of this out, but. They did a good job there, really contain that ball on this side of the field. You see now Cruz going on the attack here, trying to find somebody here. Can he find somebody? Oh, he finds Morales. Morales can't get the ball. Morales hands off to somebody else, and that one is going to be tipped away. It's going to be a corner kick now for FC Cincinnati. So Cincinnati now going for a goal kick as they cannot get that one, but they still have possession here on their side of the pitch here. Looking to see if they can try to drive this ball in the pot, in the, uh, box there cannot but still have control over it again Mir uh, miraculously here as we'll see morales here has the football here morales loses the football there trying to pass it off there that goes in there that's a back of the neck great assist there for morales as uh if i'm not mistaken i think he has to get like uh five uh, at least five assists this season i think 15 um uh and I, I, I don't know if i showed it here but he has to get at least 15 goals for the season which I, you know he can manage that uh, and we'll try to stretch that out as much as possible uh, the course of the season here uh, but of course if he's still you know if he you know if you think about it, if he does three cat tricks a game that's that's the first five games alone that he could uh, <laughs> you know complete that goal there um, so but like I said we'll try to sprinkle around like I said we well I'm gonna try my best to not, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, if, if Morales is there for the goal and, and gets a, able to make a shot and, and get it in there, obviously, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let him take it. But, uh, you know, for the most part, it's really trying to get him to be a team player. I want to see more, uh, you know, more um, assists from him this season than uh, as opposed to last year, which he did complete last year's goals for assists. Um, but I can't remember exactly the amount. I have to. Look that up and see what his amount was for last season. But you see here, trying to go for that one. That was just a net, just a poor shot there from Morales. And uh, there you see there, they try to kick this one back out. Now, FC Cincinnati still has control. A nice header there to keep the control of the ball and try to keep it on the, their side of the, that's uh, third side of the pitch. And you can see here now, a nice uh, job there as Amada gets this one in there. Great assist there. Second assist now in the game for Morales. As he helps out a teammate getting a goal, it's now a two to one lead here for FC Cincinnati. So Cincinnati, again, just like in that New York game there, that preseason game, down. And uh, now, or of course, in uh, this, ca this case, they were they're tied and now come back with a goal and taking a goal lead here in this one. A great job there. Getting to the goalkeeper at the last minute and then just launch that one right past them as you see those two. Uh, that's going to be a great combination there in that middle uh, for FC Cincinnati. As that is his second goal now for the season. So just getting close to the halfway point of this one. As we're near the 43rd, 42nd something minute. Is, oh, no, no, no. What the hell was that, you guys? Come on. Scoring there in the 44th minute. That was some Poor defense. I don't know what the goalkeeper was thinking. Okay, actually, I do know what he's thinking. I thought there was a guy there, which I noticed there was a guy there. It was a blue shirt. But I didn't realize he dropped back like that, and I thought he had the ball, and apparently it was not the case. And I ended up giving the ball back to Orlando. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> uh, it happens. And, uh, yeah, that's my fault. So that's user error right there. As Neen gets his first goal of the season. And now ties us up to all. So at half, I think we had a one goal lead here. It's now tied 2-2. So we're back even again. 
And uh, we got to try to break this uh, even, uh, this 2-2 tie right now, at, once we get into the second half and try to turn things around. As uh, Ahmed, there, he has two goals so far here in today's game. So he is doing a great job there. We're trying to see if we can get him a hat trick here. As Morale, uh, what was that there? We're trying to get that one to Morales there. And for whatever reason, uh, we decided to uh, pass that one late. And that's going to cause an issue there. As we now see a good stop here, good turnaround, good job there. Again, the interception now pushing the ball here. Trying to find somebody up the middle there. Try to go out, outside the box there. Go here. That's going to be a score goal there. Nice play as they get the goal. I didn't realize he uh, snuck that. I, you know, at first, I was thinking, like, did he sneak that? Did that one get in there? Did it go on the other side? But, no, it did go in. And so now FC Cincinnati takes a one-goal lead now. Makes it now 3-2 to two here in front of the home crowd here. As they are starting to uh, come back in this one here, as you see. Oh, good shot there as a goalkeeper. Yeah, just uh, could not stretch out far enough to stop that one there. Of course, even he had a defender there helping him. But, uh, yeah, just could not get that one there. And that's going to be another goal here for FC Cincinnati. As, uh, now we just got to play some good defense here and make sure we don't uh, you know let anything go by. A nice job there from Victor. His first of the season, scoring that one near the 50th minute here today. As uh, just a few months, moments later after the that score uh, score being called there, and we get the kickoff here, we get the ball there now back as we get a nice interception. And oh, Morales now going for it here. He's by himself. Can he get this one there? Oh, hits off the back of the rim or off the post, and then comes back right to him as he goes and lays it right back in. Nice play there. That's definitely going to be a web gem there on, on uh, ESPN. Great play there as he gets his own rebound. Fires it right back in there and this time puts it in the back of the net. Great play. And that's going to be goal number four here now for Mateo Morales. Great play there as Morales showing off what he can do. And I was even shocked by that. I'm thinking like, oh no, it hit off the poles. It's gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna be a weird rebound. I can't get back to it, but it came. I mean, it literally came right back to Morales, and that was really nice as he was able, of course, by himself there, was able to knock, the, uh, squeak that one in there and get the goal. Now we'll see a goal, or yeah, yeah, opportunity here for a. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I was gonna say we have the good stop here for a corner kick we gotta at least stop the first one with the second one this time the oh bad positioning there bad positioning there oh hit oh yeah he got off the rebound and then knocked it right in there what a play there what a way to stick with it and drives that one in with his head as that's going to be goal number three now here for Orlando so Orlando's not good not going away here as Dwyer gets his second goal I believe this is the second goal in the game and it's the second goal of the season. So nice uh, job there. So far, he is looking good here. As he hands this one off to one of his teammates there, he is trying to fight and keep the ball. But Watson does a great job there of uh, making a tackle. And now they are now on the attack here as Morales here looking for the ball here. Oh, gives this one to Gaia. Gaia is going to go ahead and get this one. Can he get this, knock this one in there? He gets in the back corner there, and that's going to be a goal. Great assist there for Morales. And that is going to be another goal for FC Cincinnati as they go back up two goals here. It's now 5-3. to three. And this is good right now. I like This is the type of football I like to see us play right here. I like to see this uh, both teams fighting like this here back and forth. Obviously, want to be the uh, want to be the one that's in the lead right now. But nice uh, shot there as we get another goal. And the fans here at Nipper Stadium are getting rowdy like no other. Matter of fact, I just seen a guy just get handcuffed. Look, he's going to be spending the night in jail there. As I look like he's trying to make an attempt to run on the field here. <laughs> so we'll see here. Uh, oh, no, no. Bad, bad pass there. We got to clean that up there. As uh, we'll see now, Orlando has a chance here to get something going here. We got to try to see if we can stop this play here. Great job there of breaking that up. I believe that was Watson there. On that uh, stop there. So we'll see a good job there. Getting that deflection there. But uh, Orlando will get the ball here. And they'll try to maintain possession here. As they try to fight this one here into the box. That one's going to ricochet away. 
And they are down by two as they go for a corner kick here. This corner kick is going to be no good. As no one can get to that one there. It's, uh, it's actually going to be off a little off target there. And we'll see here. Oh, Dwyer's there. No, we cannot get Dwyer that open shot. Dwyer gets a second shot. He gets deflected. Thank God. Jeez. And we have, uh, and, they, and not to mention, they have an additional six extra minutes of play. So we got to try to make sure we do not let them score here and not give up anything else. And obviously by the tell of the music there, we avoid it as we are able to keep our two goal lead winning this one here five to two here in front of the crowd at home as frankie gets two goals two attempts there on his ledger and nice job there of picking up the victory as he was of course the catalyst in that one as he got our first two goals here in today's game as uh, FC Cincinnati gets another three points on the on the ledger there for us. So now we're six points now. And that's still one of those top teams there in the East. Take a look there. 9.4 there. One goal, three assists there from uh, Morales. So big, big uh, day there from Morales uh, with the assist there. Now, of course, we didn't score too many goals there. But, hey, it's not always about goals. It's about helping others get goals too. So trying to spread the wealth, trying to spread the love there. And uh, Morales did the same thing in that game here today as he got those nice three goals, or nice three assists. And we'll see how, uh, of course, like I said, we want him to be a, also a person that can help with the, getting assists, help other players set things up for him uh, in that uh, in the box and uh, just, just be more proactive uh, when it comes to uh, being a teammate there. Uh, not saying he's been, I mean, of course, I'm not saying he's been having that bad things said about him. Uh, but me, as a user, I think we need to try to be more involved and not always have to worry about uh, scoring um, with him and more or less be concerned of how we can find ways to help others score on the pitch. So that is something I want to do here. I think that's what the way we're going to try to do it here, at least by playing in that uh, mode uh, when we play as the, as, the, as the team as a whole. So I think, I think it'll work out for the best for everybody. Uh, and I think it'll make a more exciting gameplay, too. Because uh, uh, I just didn't like the idea of just him calling for the ball every single time. <laughs> it's like, I almost felt like a ball hog here. It's like, eh, don't like that. All right. And uh, I think also, too, I think it just I'm so used to playing in the broadcast mode when I'm playing franchise. You know, when I'm playing the, you know, the, as a manager, it looks better. I don't know, just there with my eyes and stuff, so. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to the next game here. As you see, so there's some of the uh, upcoming targets that we've had to meet up. And, of course, I think we met some of those already with the, the first two games. But we're going to get to the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup here. Of course, last year we won this championship. And now we are trying to see if we can return and win this cup game, uh, win this cup tournament again. Of course, this is one of the, the, uh, the domestic cups that we have in MLS and there you see Morales, nine goals in the last three matches. So, you know Chicago Fire FC is definitely going to be uh, making sure they have a well-designed defensive setup here uh, to stop us when it comes to uh, Morales on that side of the pitch. So we'll see how things turn around. We'll see how things come about here in just a bit. But, uh, like I said, we won this last year. And we're going to try to see if we can try to win it again uh, here. Um, when uh, we obviously won, I can't think of who we won it against. But this is the first round of it. Of course, the winner of this will, of course, move on to the next. And the uh, other team will just have to wait till next year to be in the Cup. This is a uh, single elimination tournament. Uh, we see here Garza. Uh, they're now on uh, out there on the pitch there trying to get this ball as uh, they're just playing the ball with the ball a little bit too much here. Kind of frustrating some of the players there as Morales now here go, gets this one here. Going down the pitch here. Now he has only has one man to fight off here. Tries to go for a kick there. And, oh, that's just off target. So close. As that could have been another pole shot there that he had earlier. We've seen there in that Orlando game at home as we'll see him set this one up here. And, oh, try to get that one there. He tried to get the kick there. And then, of course, they do not let us uh, move our player there at all. So that was a little 
a little frustrating, but whatever. <laughs> but we'll go here and see Morales here go for that oh, that pass there, but goalkeeper's going to get there on time. And they got to make a stop. But you see again here a nice header as uh, Cincinnati just really still putting pressure on this uh, defense as uh, they're just not able to get rid of that football there. And, oh, no, 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 whoa, what's good? Uh, uh, we got to stop him. We got to stop uh, that play right there. Good stop there from uh, Powell as they move the ball there. McCarthy makes a nice uh, interception there. As FC, or uh, now uh, Chicago Fire has the football here. McCarthy here fighting for that, keep that ball there as he uh, has to get rid of it. And we'll see FC Cincinnati trying to get this ball here. But Chicago doing a good job here. Passing this ball around here. Good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Almost had that shot there on that uh just over the crossbar there. Almost had a goal there for Chicago. As again, Chicago now on the attack. As Lillard will go ahead and pass to McCarthy there. McCarthy getting the guiding. Guiding here is going to throw this, kick this one in there. He finds a top left head, half, yeah, the top left half corner there, and he gets it in there. Goal there, number one for Chicago Fire as they get the first one of the day here in the opening round of the U.S. Cup. And, oh, that's, that's tough. <laughs> Can't say no more about that. That's just tough. As uh, we thought we had them this time, but they just the pressure just built up way too much. And uh, Nicholas uh, Gaten will, of course, get the first goal here in the opening round of the U.S. Open. As uh, we'll see, Chicago getting the ball back here. And, of course, they're trying to build up another good play here. But nice interception there from Powell. As Guy Tin gets go ahead and gets the interception there, as he stops that uh, potential run for Cincinnati. Is oh nice play there from the Cincinnati uh, midfielder there. He gets the football there, gets that one to Morales. Morales pitches it off to him. We'll see here. Try to get this pass in there. Great pass, but no, not could not finish that one there. As Marshall Marshall Marshall, I I think that's how you say his name. I butchered it. I know. But, uh, yeah, we do not do a good job. Now Morales here going for this one. Oh, good deflection. Good save there from the goalkeeper as Morales drew that one right in front of his face but could get past the goalkeeper there as Garza now has the football here looking to see if he can help out his team here again. As they're looking for another chance here to pass his football there. But Chicago knows how important Morales is on that offense there. And they're making sure they close that gap up pretty good. As oh a nice interception there from uh, from FC Cincinnati is oh again another one there as uh, again Chicago get in front of there make getting cutting those passing lanes off uh, when it comes and again trying to get that one to Morales Morales couldn't get there and again uh, Chicago Fire just again uh, have they been so far here on this back and forth on this uh, really mid part of the pitch here just making a good go here. As get in here again, another stop there. As uh, they oh, that time that was not a good one. There's Morales right there on time where he needed to be. We'll see a change, uh, change here. Is oh, trying to move the ball around here, trying to maybe do a little confusion here. That ball gets in there, and that's gonna be a goal. As that is gonna be goal number one for Marsh. We'll just call him that for now. So I can learn his guy pronunciate his name correctly. He gets the goal, and that'll be the first one, I believe, for him for the season. He knocks this one, and that'll be his first goal, actually, uh, or I should say first goal of the uh, of the uh, U.S. Cup season here. As that one gets in there, and that is going to be another uh, another goal here on the board here. This time for FC Cincinnati as they tie this one up now one apiece. As Antonio Marchisio, Marchisio, Marchisio he gets this one. And that is going to be the first half. So at half, there you see the attempts there from uh, Antonio. Two attempts, one goal for from him, and he has now helped this ball club tie this one up against Chicago Fire 1-1 as they go into the second half. So we'll see second half play here as uh, FC since, or, uh, she's a Chicago here going on the attack. But that's going to be stopped really quickly there and abruptly. By Cincinnati. Cincinnati's now making a push here. And they're going to give this one to Morales. Morales pushing the ball here. Going for the goal here. No, cannot get that goal. Cruz is able to hold on. Uh, get to it there. And then you see a goal played there. Nice job there. As Ola. 
He gets the goal. And that is going to be number two now for FC Cincinnati. And it's FC Cincinnati. And there you see the fans there. A few fans that uh, showed up here in Chicago. Of course, not, not a long drive. Uh, a couple hours drive from uh, from uh, the central part of uh, Ohio. But nonetheless there, that's a great job there. And a great finish there. Find that man up the middle there. And able to pass the ball and get that goal. That's now goal number two now for FC Cincinnati. Goal number one there for Victor. And they now lead this one by one. So we'll see if we can now, of course, play some defense here. And, of course, try to maybe get some insurance goals here at some point here to kind of separate us here as we're just uh, it's still a close game here. So Chicago can really turn things up here if they wanted to. And it looks like they're going to do so here. As they do a great job there passing the ball around here. Back and forth. Left and right. Oh, great job there. Great stop. As Tipson there gets the stop. And now we'll see Watson here now try to push for the ball. But that ball's going to be intercepted by McCarthy. McCarthy going to set up something there for Spangler. And that one's going to be ricocheted off. Nice play there. And Spangler couldn't get that one there. Uh, he had it on target, but just could uh, not get that one past the goalkeeper as a uh, keeper. Does a great job there. And again, another poor pass there. As again, Chicago doing a great job just, just getting, finding those pa passing lanes there and just getting in front of there as the goalkeeper gets an, another nice save. And of course, we got to get, get this pressure off this goalkeeper here. At some point here, it's going to break. And we got to start putting pressure back on that uh, goalkeeper on the other end there. As you see now, FC Cincinnati now making the attack here. Looking for something up the middle here. Can we get a header? No. Almost had a header there for Morales, but he just off target there some. Now, F, uh, now I should say Chicago Fire now trying to go on the attack here. And again, just doing a great job. But this time the line holds up for us. And make sure we get a chance now here on this great breakaway here. Morales going for a set here. Can he get this one in there? No, it's going to be blocked. Nice stop there as he uh, just got to keep this one going here and just keep putting that pressure on that goalkeeper. And I think the last that last one there, he should have went on the uh, far left-hand side there instead of uh, trying to go inside there on the right side. As Morales here looking to get this ball here. And Morales just not uh, on. The, oh, no, don't push. Don't push. So we'll see a free kick here. This one is now nowhere near the goal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, that was okay, yeah, I guess. But we'll see. A, oh, great stop there for the goalkeeper. As this goalkeeper, we got to buy this man a nice steak here because he's just been doing a great job there of uh, making sure these, uh, these these balls do not get in there. Make nice deflections all around. And there you see FC Cincinnati, or should say uh, Chicago goal, of course, get called off sides here. Now, extra three minutes now here of gameplay. As uh, you see, Cincinnati trying to move the football here. And doing a pretty good job here of uh, giving some touches here. Just one pass touches now to each other. Getting this one up there. That one's going to be reflected. No. And that's not going to be any good there. And that is pretty much it here. As we'll see the last few seconds now here in this one. And the final whistle comes about. And that is it here as we pick up a nice victory here. And that's going to, of course, move us on into the next round of the U.S. Open Cup here in MLS. So nice job as Victor uh, there getting some props there from him, uh, from uh, the opposing team there. And, of course, uh, going to get some... Uh, Probably get the game-winning ball there to help us out as he did get the final goal to break this tie. And we end this one at 2-1. to one. Get the victory there. That's nice to see here. As Toronto, or excuse me, Chicago, will, of course, home crowd will have to go home unhappy. So you see one assist and, of course, uh, one, um, or yeah, one assist there for him. No goals, uh, but a 7.9, not bad at all. Uh, but this game was really trying. Uh, we knew this was going to be a tough game. They, you know, uh, at least look at the, uh, you know, of course, we got good feedback there from the manager here. Uh, but, you know, we said that we've seen there that feedback that we got from our manager, and he said this was going to be a tough game for us. They, they have something, you know, and they have games like this. Uh, we can't always play 
uh, always the top notch uh, superstar that we want him to play at. So sometimes we gotta just gotta sit back and just like, okay, I you know not gonna be able to get the ball. I'm not may may not be able to get much touch you know too many touches of the ball here today. But I'm gonna try to help other guys out when I can, and just kind of play a different role uh, in uh, this game. So uh, great job from the guys as they did a great uh, did, did very very well. And uh, of course, move on to the second round here. Of course, we'll see who that is uh, later on here, uh, sometime probably next month, uh, when the next uh, cup game will be, because uh, they and they spread about so freaking far. And of course, they're all going to be close to one another towards the get go of the season. But as we take a look here, we wrap up the episode here. We can see that our next game will back into the or to the MLS, and we'll have a league game against FC. Dallas, and that's a road game there. A nice Sunday afternoon game. We'll see what we can do as we go on back on the road here. And, of course, uh, try to continue this run that we're on right now. Two games we have won so far uh, in the MLS. And, of course, we've won one game in the U.S. Cup. So we'll see if we can go for three in the next episode. And that will be episode 23 coming up here. And I believe we'll take on FC Dallas Chicago again. And we'll take on Real Salt Lake. So, uh, but that's it for this episode, you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you have the view. And also, don't forget to hit that bell. Only half of you have, uh, that have subscribed to the channel have hit the bell notification. Get those notifications. And, you know, if you want to know what's going on here on the channel, definitely hit those bell notifications. Those, uh, hit that bell notification so you guys be notified when anything drops here on the channel and don't forget to follow us on our second channel ESGN net LP as we got great content over there having a lot of fun with a lot of different series over there and uh, a lot of fun so far of course don't forget we are also on twitch we uh, live stream at 10 p.m. on Thursday nights 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons occasionally on Friday nights at 10 p.m. and then also uh, we also live stream on t at 10 p.m. on Saturday nights over there a lot of fun chill stream you guys get to know me we get to have some fun, a laugh, joke, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for more of Mateo Morales' career mode here on ESGNet. As always, keep yourselves and your other healthy. And I will see you guys next time.